the description right 704 tactical made me buy this he practically sold it to me himself uh, what am I talking about I'm talking about this freaking light right here um, hold on stand by this is the FZ shoot laser and white light tactical flashlight um, it's a lot of benefits to this really I don't really see no cons other than this is way bigger than I thought it would be I thought it would be about the size of a normal scout light and it's a little bit bigger if I do say so myself so let me just show you guys real quick um, it does come with a tape switch um, these clicks aren't as tactile you can feel them but this click is very tactile as far as hearing it I'll let you hear it yeah this is a very and then I like how it has the uh, border around it so like in the dark you'll be able to feel it and you'll know that that's the uh, that's the constant on and this is the momentary on and then if you know if you click it a couple times real fast and it's um it's gonna be on strobe um, it does come with this mount this is pretty pretty nice uh, you can screw it in like right there and then just lock it down with this lever I like how it comes with that out of the box and then it uses the same screws uh, for the M lock so all of this basically will come off and then you would just put it like on the side or whatever wherever you want to put it um, and then another good thing about this it has a thread in adapter for the tape switch so uh, if I wanted to, I would just thread this straight in and it would go in without, you know, you don't have to worry about it snagging or, or not snagging, but you don't have to worry about it being pulled out because it's actually going to thread into place, which that right there is, is freaking legit. Um, and then it has a on body thing to activate it. So you can just twist this knob, which is really close to where you take it out for the battery. But, you know, I don't see them being confused in my opinion. Um, and then, like I said, it does take the scout mount, which I have mounted on here. I have the Monstrum tactical swivel mount, the same that he had. And uh, it's been working out fine for me. I do have it locked tighted in place. As you can see, I got it offset to the side. Um, I got another mount coming and I might mount, try to mount it to the top, but I don't know because this top part gets significantly hotter than the side. So that's why I just, uh, cut a hole uh, on the side of my uh, Lunar Concepts Hot Pocket. And I figured it would be better because this has uh, some heat mitigation because this is all M-Lock under here. So I figure it's gonna uh, definitely mitigate some heat on the sides rather than the top. This is where the gas is coming in directly. So this, this thing gets hot for sure. So I know that if I put it on there, then the whole thing will get hot, which isn't a big problem. Uh, but that's just something that I consider in my setup. So uh, yeah, I'm liking this light so far. I got a slave to my red dot um, and it does have three modes. It has the laser, the laser and the light, and then just the light. And to actuate it, you just twist this on and off and then you can switch you know and then it got the two points to um, basically center the laser to your red dot if you want to but yeah I'm liking this thing it's way bigger than I thought um, just for comparison's sake let me see if I can get my uh, TLR1 standby Um, you can see for comparison's sake, this is the rifle version of the TLR-1 that I set up uh, in a previous video on my channel. Um, but you can see how small this is in comparison, but this is a dedicated rifle light. Um, let's see if I can just do a look at the heads of that. Nah, might not even fit on camera. I might throw in some pictures, um, but yeah, you can see significantly significantly smaller than that for sure Let's see significantly smaller probably about half the size um, but the biggest upside with this is it has the momentary just down and then the constant up and you can use it without the switch I like uh, lights that you can use without the switch that don't just come with the button 
um, and this is pretty cool because uh, with my hand already being right here all I would have to do is basically just turn it and it would come on and turn and come on off um, in in theory you know still got to train with it you know I always say like how you train but um, yeah I'm gonna be making a video right after this about the full setup so stay tuned for that we got more coming so stay tuned please